Investing in Amazon PPC is risky, especially for new brands with limited budgets. Despite efforts to optimize campaigns with new keywords and bid adjustments, it's frustrating to see your money disappear without results. That's where the ASIN matrix comes in. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, product evangelist at Celerab and today I will tell you all about Amazon ASIN matrix and how it helps our brands optimize their PPC campaigns in a smarter way. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Celera so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. An ASIN matrix is helpful tool in Amazon advertising that gives you insights into how well your sponsored products campaigns are doing. It breaks down data about each product's performance like clicks, impressions, spending and sales based on its ASIN. With this report, you can see which products are selling well and which ones need improvement. You can then adjust your advertising strategy like changing bids or targeting to get better results and make more sales. Amazon's ASIN matrix uh, helps you uh, focus on your target audience, choose the right products to advertise based on your performance and improve your ad campaigns for better results. It divides products into four categories to help you prioritize your advertising efforts. First is star ASINs. Star ASINs are new products that are selling really well. They have the potential to keep growing in popularity to help them grow even more. It's important to advertise them in the right way. When advertising star ASINs, it's best to target people who are likely to be interested in your product and buy it. You can do this by using specific targeting options like ASIN targeting, keyword targeting, or category targeting. This helps uh, make sure your ads are seen by the right people, uh, which can lead to even more sales and faster growth. If you want to make sure your star ASINs get noticed, it's a good idea to run sponsored product advertising campaigns that appear at the top of the Amazon's webpage. Now, this way, uh, customers see your ads as soon as they visit the site, which increases the chances of them clicking on them and buying your product. Make sure your ad looks appealing and grabs attention to get the most out of this strategy. Doing this can boost awareness, uh, clicks and sales for your products. Second is Cash Cow ASINs. Now, Cash Cow ASINs are products that have been around on Amazon for a while and sell really well. They are like your money-making machines in your advertising campaigns and can keep bringing in more profits for a longer duration. It's smart to group all these cash cow ASINs together and run a campaign for them, making sure to optimize them in a similar way. But before you group them, make sure uh, they have similar keywords and appeal to the same kind of customers. You don't want to waste your money on ads that don't work well together. This makes it easier for sellers to manage these campaigns and make them perform even better. Cash Cow ASINs usually have lots of good reviews and you can advertise them on pages where uh, your cust uh, competitor's products are listed. By doing this, you can reach more people by targeting broader related keywords. 
For example, if you sell handmade jewelry and uh, how they make great gifts, you can target keywords like uh, birthday gifts in your ads to reach more potential customers. So to advertise cash cow essence effectively, it's helpful to show your ads on pages where similar products are listed. This way you catch the eye of customers who are already interested in similar stuff. By placing your ads strategically, you can keep a steady stream of visitors and sales for your cash cow products. Another important strategy is to focus on keywords uh, that relate to similar products. Do some research to uh, find out which keywords customers often use when looking for products like yours. Then use these keywords in your ad campaigns to make sure your products show up in the search results. This helps you uh, grab the attention of customers who are actively searching for products in the similar category or uh, with same features. Third is uh, question mark ASINs. Now uh, question mark ASINs are like the new products on Amazon that aren't selling as well as you had hoped. Uh, but don't worry, there's still room for improvement. Uh, if you have products like these and uh, you know you want to boost your sales, you can use promotions, coupons and other offers to attract even more customers. So one good way to advertise uh, question mark ASINs is to offer deals or coupons to encourage people to buy them. Giving discounts or special promotions on these products can make customers feel like they are getting a great deal and need to buy them now. By showing these offers in your ads, you can grab people's attention and persuade them to check out and buy your products. So this helps you make more sales and build up a customer base uh, for your question mark ASINs. Another smart strategy for question mark ASINs is uh, to try remarketing uh, other products that go well with them. Look for products in your catalog uh, that complement or enhance your question mark ASINs. These could be items that people often buy together or products that add extra value when used alongside each other. By targeting these products to uh, customers who have shown interest in your question mark ASINs, you can encourage them to buy more than just one item. This way, you can increase the average uh, amount customers spend on your question mark ASINs. Fourth is Sitting Dog ASINs. Now, Sitting Dog ASINs are products that have been around on Amazon for a while, but aren't selling very well. Even though they have been there for some time, their sales are still low, so they need uh, some extra attention. To improve these sitting dog ASINs, you need to focus on specific keywords that match what people are looking for. Create separate advertising campaigns for them and use uh, sponsored products, product targeting, this means uh, showing your ads to customers who are, you know, already interested in products like yours. You can target uh, individual products and categories, filtering them by price, ratings, or brands. For sitting dog ASINs, aim for product with higher prices and poor reviews. Another way to boost these ASINs is to target niche audiences with the help of the sponsored products, product targeting. This means uh, showing your ads to people who are really interested in unique or specialized products. It's also important to consider timing if you are running campaigns during big shopping events like Prime Day or Black Friday. Create uh, separate campaign groups Include your cash cow ASINs and star ASINs in these campaigns to maximize sales during uh, peak times. 
by following these methods uh, you know and consistently monitoring your a sense you can turn the sitting dog a sense and question mark a sense into cash cow a sense if you are looking to make the most out of your ASIN matrix, uh, Seller App is the perfect tool for you. It lets you experiment with various campaign strategies easily, including the advanced ones like day parting and automation rules. So let me break it down a bit. Uh, say you want to boost the performance of your Cash Cow ASIN campaigns you can use day parting with seller app to make your campaign spending even more efficient. Day parting allows you to adjust your campaigns based on different times of the day. So you can get more conversions when it matters the most. So here's how you can go about it. Firstly, log in uh, to the seller app dashboard. Uh, from the left side navigation, bar go to the advertising then click on automation uh, create new rule and day parting rule once you select it you will find the create day parting rule click on it now there are two simple steps to do so you can create day parting automation on your daily account and campaign level budget i'm selecting campaign level sponsor products and all campaigns next you can target the right audience at the right time of the day earliest start date is tomorrow's date and the end date you can select as per your choice in step three uh, you can allocate the distribution of the daily budget according to the hour uh, so select the time and the budget for this hour now click on next review and enable and this is how you set day parting rules in no time on the other hand let's say you are trying to find top asins and keywords that are working well for uh, your sitting dog asins instead of going through multiple reports on the advertising console you can track your keywords and asins performance using seller apps advertising insights feature so here are the steps you should follow uh, firstly log in uh, to the seller app dashboard and uh, connect your amazon advertising account uh, then you can navigate uh, to the advertising section or uh, go to the insight section here you can find your top search terms and asins using Seller apps, positive search terms and positive ASINs features. Now all you need to do is add your target ACOS and let Seller app do the work for you. Now here are some tips to help you optimize your ASIN matrix. The ASIN matrix is designed to be straightforward and easy to use so it's accessible to all kinds of Amazon sellers. You don't need to be a specialist or uh, do complicated math to get value from it. By visually organizing your products, you can quickly see which ones are doing well, that is stars, which ones have potential but need work, question marks, which ones are steady earners, that is cash cows, and which ones aren't performing, that is sitting dogs. It's also a great tool for spotting areas where your product lineup could be stronger. So by identifying question marks and sitting dogs, you can decide whether to improve them or let them go. This frees up uh, resources so you can focus on products with more growth potential. Depending on your goals and resources, you can decide to nurture your stars or maximize your cash cows. This helps you pinpoint where to improve, uh, use your resources wisely, and invest in products uh, that can grow even further. While the ASIN metrics is useful, um, it might not capture all the changes in the market. The Amazon marketplace is always evolving, especially uh, with the rise of other online platforms. 
so it's important to look beyond amazon and consider uh, the competition and market trends for a broader picture also if you notice new competitors or big brands taking over your category you will need to adjust your strategies accordingly the asen matrix uh, might not cover all the details of these changes to stay competitive in this fast paced environment uh, sellers should consider a wide range of factors beyond what the matrix shows so we can all agree that amazon ppc isn't something that you can just set up and forget about to stay ahead of the competition it's crucial to keep uh, improving your advertising campaigns but when we talk about optimization it's not just about changing bits or adding new keywords strategic optimization especially using the asen matrix module is the key to success in ppc advertising so if you want to get more bang for your buck amazon ppc optimization experts at celera can help reach out to us at support at celera.com and we will take it further and that's it for this video everyone thanks for watching your support means a lot to us it encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this so if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to celera let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics you can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you if you haven't already click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video also don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content and until the next time happy selling <laughs>